Hi YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to episode three of our extreme fixer upper makeover. We're tackling our entire upper floor of our house. We're doing two bedrooms, a bathroom and a hallway and a pretty epic transformation. So today I'm actually working on the third day really of prepping to get a mural done in the bathroom wall. We're gonna put the background color on and actually start the drawing and the actual image that's gonna go on the mural. We stayed up late last night rolling white paint after white paint after white paint and getting that room a blank canvas to get started. Let's go roll some paint. For the background color of the mural, I want a very neutral color, but still an actual color on the wall. So I'm using this beauty tone color, it's called Caribou Lichen. And I think it's going to just add just that softness to the background that I'm looking for. So it almost looks like white now, but against the actual white wall, you'll be able to see that it is a green. And it's going to add to my background watercolor that I'm going to do. First, what I wanna do, since I'm only doing my mural on this one wall, is edge all the way around this white area. And I'm going to freehand it as best as possible. I can always do some touch-ups on the white later if I want to, especially since I'll probably be using some sponges around this exterior of the uh, actual mural anyways. I'm gonna probably get a little bit on the white canvas part of the top. So I'm gonna edge it out and then roll the whole inside, all the background color, and then I'm gonna start layering this with color. Looking for the tape roll that was on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. I was like, where did I put my tape roll? Oh, on oh my arm. Okay, the perfectionist in me started to trim around the outside, and then I thought with a thicker brush or even a thinner one, the angle that the ceiling and the wall meet, I was going to make a disaster on the white wall. And so I just thought it was easiest, especially since it's gonna take me a little bit to do this, to just tape it off. So taping it. It'll make it a lot cleaner as I work. excited but nervous <laughs> don't be nervous I, think, I haven't I, done this for so long i know and that's the issue like it's gonna take you a little bit to get in the groove i think but i see once i've seen your stuff i know you got just, it it's like riding a bike i hope so you don't forget your skill good thing high tide white is really good coverage. <laughs> 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 oh no, I have a hundred percent faith in you. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Your vision will come. Hey, take me a minute. Right. Let's just start. It's starting. All right. I'm going to do some background shading. So my shapes are going to be on. So I kind of want a little bit of the edges to be a little bit darker. So I'm mixing some of the background color and then a little bit darker of a green and then I'll kind of blend as I go. And I'm using a flat end stencil brush to try first. If this doesn't work out, then I'll just use a regular paintbrush, but okay. started a little bit of the background shading. I might end up adding more as I go, but I wanted to get just a bit of a base of it on there. And so now what I'm going to do is work on my moon first. I really want to add a moon to this and make this a really dreamy, like you're dreaming of humpbacks. And then underneath there's going to be a great big humpback with baby and then our compass and some clouds and I think a little boat up here maybe. So I'm working on the moon, but because I'm working with this angled ceiling, my moon is going to kind of come around here and then get cut off by the ceiling, which is kind of neat because it's going to look like it's just sort of a glimpse into the dream. Um, so I'm just kind of keeping my moon in proportion with how big I know I need to make my hump back. That's my challenge right now. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and cut my teeth can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is 
to capture the soul of the I know. Yes. So I I did draw something up but I just want it to look like it's looking at you and like dreaming of being with you and you're dreaming of being with the humpback so Hello I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on Hello, no, no. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's so creamy already. Gonna be dreamier. Show me where the ending goes on You should have a YouTube family guess how many paintbrushes I was gonna ruin making a mural. Because <laughs> I'm like blending with little thin brushes and I'm sure I'm destroying Leave down in the comment section how many paintbrushes. I'll keep track. <laughs> at least a dozen. <laughs> shading done. I think the moon is pretty good for now. Yeah, I'll probably tweak it as I go, but pretty happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. It's pretty great. The kids love it so far, so that's all that really matters, right? I hope you guys enjoyed the progress update on the mural. I'm going to continue working on this a little more tonight and update you guys again tomorrow. So those of you who are asking, we are doing daily uploads for November. So make sure to check back every evening to check out for our new video. So this is episode three. If you missed one and two, you can check them out on the playlist on our channel. If you're not already part of our YouTube family, hit the subscribe button, join our Fixer Upper Makeover series, where you get to see us do the entire upper floor for the boys. So this is just project number one. We have lots more coming, so. Stay tuned for tomorrow's update on the rest of the mural. Oh, I love the barnacles. Look at those little barnacles. Oh. And I love his eye. So if you're standing over here, 
Yeah. Looks like he's looking at you. If you yeah. stand here, so good. He's definitely staring at us. Or she. She. She's gonna have a baby, so mama. Mama humpback. Yeah. Okay, see everyone tomorrow. I love you. See you on tomorrow's episode.